an all city clash between Mike Driscoll from the Commons Road and Kieran Gould from the hallowed ground of bowling from Fairhill. Yeah, 
Come on, Come on, Mikey, come on. Come on, Mikey, come on. Come on, Mikey, come on. Come on, Yes, say that. Let's see that. Come on, Come on, Mikey, come on. Yeah, the first one. The first push. A score in the Red Crony Cup features a contest between Kieran Gould and Mick O'Driscoll Blackpool. At the moment, at the line, Gould has a slight advantage, having lofted it out over the line. Uh, it's any man's score yet, and it's all to play for. They're playing for approximately £450 a side, and on what's an excellent day for bowling, we look forward to a very good contest between here and the finishing line. Can you know that car don't go too high here? Over here, low boy. Come on, Thank you. 
Unexpected ending after being level at the line. Uh, a mistake by Mick O'Driscoll in the shot from the line allowed Kieran Gould the chance to pull away, and from there on he rose on steadily to win by almost two balls of odds at the conclusion. Mick O'Driscoll will be disappointed with the way that he finished, but for Kieran Gould it marks his entry into the second round of the Red Crawley Cup. Here at Kilbritton is between James Buckley and the present King of the Roads, John O'Driscoll. Come on, 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 come Get out the car, lad. Come and watch the trees, look. Long and low into it. Straight out to the tree outside. Come on.
Hey!
Faccio da ora? 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 Faccio da Well, that concludes the opening score in the 1996 Red Crowley Cup. The honour's going to John O'Driscoll, who defeated James Buckley by one ball. <laughs> the score we're about to see here at Kilbritton is the first round of the Red Crowley Cup between the 1994 champion uh, Declan Donovan from Barry Row and the present all Ireland senior champion Michael Toll from Armagh. Come 
ਹੋਰ ਕੀ ਦੇਖਣ ਦਾ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਪਾਸ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਹੋਰ ਦੇਖ ਦੇਖ ਦੇਖ
Today's score in the Red Crawley Cup is turning into an intriguing contest between Declan O'Donovan from Bandon and Aidan, uh, Michael Toll from Armagh. From the outset, Toll took command and had half a ball of odds after two throws. It looked as though he would rise a ball of odds at the line, but some determined play by O'Donovan and a little bit of bad luck on Toll's part meant that at the line both players were level, both of them missing the line by just a few, a few metres. 
In the shots from the line, it appears to us at the minute that Declan O'Donovan has taken the lead, but the things are far from over yet, and in an intriguing contest being played for a stake of £1,140 a side, it's still any man's score. Keep in there, Raymond, keep in. Keep in, keep in. Keep in, keep in. Keep in, keep in. Keep in, keep in. Keep in there, Raymond, keep in. Keep in, 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 keep in. Keep Shoot that ball right now! Come on, Dixon, boy! As we come to the end of this contest in the Red Crawley Cup, Nick Nordanovan from Bandon has emerged the winner by well over a bowl of odds. Up to the no play line, the score was level. Toll was somewhat unlucky there, but from there on in, O'Donovan gradually took command and he has asserted himself to a very comfortable and convincing win at the end of this contest. So he goes into the next round and it's the end of the road for Michael Toll. See the first round of the Red Crowley Cup here today at Kilbritton between Michael Buckley from Fairhill and Cork City and James, sorry, Christy Mullins from Bantry. Oh, 
Next size, yeah. Well, then this is what you want to say. Is that over now? Okay. Right. Okay, Seamus. Um, well, then the score looks as if it's it's all over, really. Um, I suppose Mullins put himself in trouble with his third shot. He laughed at it, dead bone. He recovered very well after that, but uh, he just he just missed the line at the cross here again, and that was a vital one for him. So he's facing two balls of odds now, and it looks as if it's over. But then, having said that, Buckley has done very good bowling. He was up to the cross, uh, nearly two shots better than uh, last Sunday week. So I think it's been a combination of Buckley's good bowling and the fact that uh, Mullins hasn't thrown a score for a while that has uh, really been the telling thing in this score. Would I be on television tonight, Dennis? Yeah.
We're here. Um, Christy Mullins finished very strongly and uh, brought the lead well under two balls of odds. But uh, Mike Foley did the damage done before that, really. And, uh, a bit of a lacklustre finish. Uh, again, I would say Christy Mullins is probably lacking in score practice, but uh, his finish there has been impressive. And uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll see better ball in 1997. We're about to see the first round of Red Crowley Cup between Blanny Jim O'Driscoll from Mayfield Cork City and John Shorten from Bandon. Hey, 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 hey,
Now, yeah, we'll cut. Right. Nice quick bowl, though. Get on, height. Crowley Cup between Jan Sharton, Kilmurray and Jim Odzeskill of Cork. They are playing for a stake of £500 a side. Sharton started very well. His first five throws, he rose a bowl of odds. But the skill has fought back well up the hill here, up to the cross. And now he has reduced the lead to about 40 metres coming out to the cross. So, any one of them look like that they can't laugh. It looks like even bowls at the line. In a very good score. Oh, 
Okay. The second half of the score was a keenly contested event until the last bend when Jim Driscoll got a big bowl and rose a ball of odds and went on to win by the bowl. It was a good even contest for up to that between two players who fought it out very well to the end and Jim Driscoll advances to the next round of the Red Crowley Cup 1996-97. between Pat Butler and Bill Daly. The stake is closing at around £1,200 a side, which is a total of £2,400, before a big crowd, we should have a very interesting contest. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. 
to have you here, babe. And will you have to put this all on the side? Make sure you do it. How about it? How about it? What the hell is going on? Shoot up, boy! Come back, come back, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Okay. After four throws out Manny's corner, but there is a ball ahead ahead of Bill Daly in this first round by Crowley Cup score. Butler has just thrown his fifth shot up the hill. Yeah. 
Show me a lot of it. Hey, hey. Show me the spot, bit. All right. This right Crowley Cup score, Pat Butler has defeated Bill Daly by two balls of odds, doing the best bowling on the road so far, covering it in 18 throws, which is the record for the tournament. Next on their score versus Declan O'Donovan looks likely to be a keen contest again, with Butler being a strong favourite at this stage and likely to make the final stages of it, but with the home man, you never know. He's a game fighter and he could cause an upset. Find the squid shore, find the score on the banks of the Lee. In the great rebel county, both women and men can be heard in full cry saying that score about. Today's contest at the Red Corny Cup between Pat Butler and Declan O'Donovan is an intriguing one, and at stake for the winner is what's a very important prize indeed, a place in the semi-finals. Declan O'Donovan, in, on home territory, will be hoping to secure a semi-final place for the second time in his career, because a couple of years ago, he was champion of this competition down in Grange. He faces a very stern test in Butler, though, because Butler has been performing extremely well recently and showed superb form in defeating Bill Daly in the last round. If he can reproduce that form today, he will make it very difficult for O'Donovan to secure his place in the semi-finals. All in all, an intriguing and exciting contest to look forward to. Sorry. Oh. Butler score 180. <laughs> That's an under all left one, Chip. Thank <laughs> you. 
Como é que é, lá? Já. 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 Hey, come across the road here, Peter. Come over to the right inside, Ella. I'll push you away back. Hey, that's too bad. Did he fall left? Yeah. Pat Butler, exhibiting absolutely brilliant form, has pulled away to more than a ball of odds lead after six throws. Uh, he really is dominating the score at this stage, and try as he will, Declan O'Donovan is finding it very hard to contain him. At the moment, Butler is in a somewhat uh, commanding position, and if he maintains that form, it'll be very difficult indeed to see him losing right, this, this way back there, Pat, push him way back there, Pat. Keep shouting, Emia. Show in there, show in. Come in a bit. Show in there, show in. Show in there, show in. Huh? Stand back here. 
Come on! 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 He on the water spot before he said before he throw. Watch him there, let's watch him. I bet him with the ball. He went. Come on, boy! Come on! Come on, there, guy! Come back! 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 Oh, you have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I do. 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 I better hope you don't have to be too fair. I have a fast no 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 I'm going to stop! Wash the trees over there. Come on, Come on, hide no kid. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on, do it, That's a sweet one, kid. Did you get this? Yeah. As we've reached the line, more or less the halfway point in the contest, Pat Butler has maintained the dominance that he set earlier on. At this stage, he is an even two balls of odds lead. Uh, during the course of the score, he's reached this point in nine excellent throws, and it's very difficult to see two balls of odds in front, how Declan or Donovan can do anything to recover his position now. It looks very much at this stage as though Butler is in command and on his way to the semi-final. Let's push the code on you, will you? Okay, now you have to be oh, over here. Over here, let's pull the ball. 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 Over here, let's pull
into the semi-final and he certainly on this farm looks as though he is the man that everyone in this competition will have to beat. Hey! 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 Hey!
Contest in the Red Crawley Cup. Victory has gone, as was predicted earlier, to Pat Butler. His consistency right throughout this score was what secured victory for him. And despite a very strong finish by Declan O'Donovan from the cross up, uh, he was unable to make any real impact. He did, however, gain some consolation for his followers uh, by saving the two balls of odds in the finish and getting some uh, recompense for his supporters. But the day belongs to Pat Butler, and on this performance, he's certainly going to be a very formidable contender for the Red Crawley Cup in Kilbritton this year. It's the money. Now, what you want to join at love? Come and round to Mikey's pub. Round us in Galden's the poor girl will flow. Thousands come to Lord the form just to kiss that bloody stone that can be viewed from the groves of Fair Hill. Now come on, boys, and spend the day with our ball and club so gay. The love of the ball, it'll make your heart thrill. Oh, when you hear the ship, I say, Timmy the Laney's won the day. Here's the boss of the boys of Fair Hill. Now come on, boys, and spend the day with our honey or club so gay. The cry of the hounds, it'll make your heart thrill. Oh, when you hear old Quinlan say, Crowley Cup quarter final, John Creedon versus Kieran Gould. Thank you. 
Nicely done. Hey, hey, come back with you. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come Too way too hard, you are. Come down, come down, Daniel. It's all right. Get to the middle. What? Run up there, run up there. Teddy, you're not old. Pick over there, I've got a hand on Jump up now. Perfect! Come on, fucking go! Head out to me! That's just fucking men! What? That's how you did taste it, though. No, that's how you did taste it. Chop that side. Chop that we are totally cop between John Creedon and Kieran Gould. Creedon made a very bright opening, getting four great throws to sight at the foot of the hill where he had a bowl of ads. His farm deteriorated slightly from there on, but he still lofted here out to the line in ten throws. And it, Creedon lofted twelve, our ghoul lofted twelve, which is a bowl and a throw of odds. Creedon showing good form. Looks like a winner at this stage, but you'll never know on this tricky road over to the finish. But playing very well, playing very strong. Keep it in, let's do it. Show me back. Show me back, let's come on. Bring the ball now! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! He's in big trouble now by this imperial card. Go to the gap, like Jesse put it on window. Yeah. The wrong height! Watch the 
Quarter final score between John Craven and Kieran Gould for a stake of 240 pounds a side. John Craven has won by over a bowl of odds, covering the road in 19 throws. Through some great shots and through some average bowls, he goes on to meet John Driscoll next Sunday in the semi final. It should be a rather interesting contest. John Driscoll, no doubt, will be favourite, but John Craven should give him a good run for it. Money from the final, which is fixed for the 23rd of February. Red Crowley Cup semi final, Kill Britain 1996. The score today is between John Creedon of Balavorny and John O'Driscoll from Cox City. Oh, 
John Creighton has thrown two wonderful balls from about 30 metres below the manager's house where he was a ball of odds behind to level the score and it looks like a fierce contest from here to the finish. <laughs> Watch it out, 
Jeff, he doesn't bring the ball out. Hey, lad, hey, 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 hey. Push India, lad. Get back there, Jeff. Get back there. Get back there. Push India, always well in the Hey, push India. 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 position to make the final at this stage, which you never know, John Creedon may come back again, having led from the shot, from the cross, down the hill, but having drawn two poor bows now, he looks in trouble at this stage, but you never know, John just looks like the man to make the final. Oh, 
Are you going to win for the players today? Afternoon here in Kilbritton, the final of the Red Crowley Cup is being played between Pat Butler and John O'Driscoll. After three throws each, they have passed Manny's Gate and look like heading out the bottom of the hill in four each, which will be record bowling for the road. Looks like a rather keen contest for no stake, with two players very much on farm on the day. Come on, mate! 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 Come
contest having just passed the manager's house John Duskin has thrown seven spectacular balls to there Pat Butler is slightly behind he has thrown eight so it's a ball of odds but uh, it, two both players playing very well on a very fine day and it looks like a keen contest all the way to the finish the crowd is beginning to gather at the stage
vorbei. Sure, go over again. That's it. Come on, I does not know over here yet, boys. Come on! It's all right, boy. That's all right, boy. Here you are, John. Here you are. Come on. No, bring the ball out, John. Bring the ball out. have reached in terms of skill 11 at Butler 14. Chandler's yeah. bowling would be a record bowling for the road, two balls of ads ahead. Yeah. Looks like heading for his first Victoria Cup victory at the stage, performing to the peak of his ability and looking very fit and bowling very fast. Come on, man! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come Right, 
Det er noget med at Nå, hvor er det? Det er Det er en 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 Det er Come on! Come on! 
Hello, John. Hello, Ken. Hello, John. Hello, Ken. Hello, John. Hello, Ken. Right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, we just want to make the presentation for the Red Crowley Cup. It's the uh, fifth playing of the, the Red Crowley Cup, and uh, we knew today, before we came along, that there was going to be a new name on it. Uh, because uh, although both players have made huge contributions to bowling in the last number of years, neither of them actually got their name on the cup until today. So it was John was the man who, who did it today, and he's had a very successful 12 months. Uh, starting uh, last year, he romped through the Munster Senior Championship and uh, was extremely convincing in all his wins. Uh, he had a bit of a hiccup in the All Ireland final, but came back uh, a couple of months later and won the King of the Roads. And now he's come on today to win the Red Crowley Cup. So I think that's uh, an incredible achievement for John. I think it's, well, I think it goes without saying it's been his most su successful 12 months ever. But I suppose uh, to win a final and to be the player of Pat Butler's calibre is an amazing achievement in any case. But to do so on record bowling, I think, uh, adds something special to that. So I think, uh, you know, uh, today was really, you know, a perfect day for him. Uh, Pat started well, but uh, John took over fairly quickly and uh, making a cross an eight and coming up here to the line in another eight, I think it's, it's, it's an incredible achievement. And uh, I think... Uh, I suppose uh, he deserves a round of applause for that. Um, I suppose uh, there's winners and losers and everything, and uh, Pat Butler is on the receiving end today in that regard, but uh, nobody I think will forget the kind of bowling Pat Butler did here on the Kilbritton Road down through the year. Um, and he, he just didn't uh, seem to strike the same form today. But I'm sure, like everything else, his third will come because uh, he's he's been one of our most cons consistent players uh, since 1990. He has uh, won more than any other player in the country. So I think uh, his turn will come to win that uh, cup as well. And maybe he'll get his chance to avenge this defeat against John, perhaps next year or whenever. Come on, before sort of uh, handing over to to the sponsor to present the cups, a couple of things I'd like to say. First of all, uh, in relation to the sponsor, uh, Finbar Crowley is a nephew of Red Crowley, and he's a native of Kilbritton. So I think it's a it's a great <coughs> occasion for Finbar to see the, the final being played here today in his own road, his home place. And I think all the players did credit to the road here. They bowled well with good competition, and I think uh, the Red Crowley Cup each year is played. It gathers more. Um, status and I think uh, the players are taking it more seriously each year has been played as well and it's it's a cup now I think that anybody would want on their their sideboard and I think we deserve a great uh, debt of gratitude to Finbar a man who's been very successful in business and has come back and put his money back into the sport and put up the cup here and uh, put up the prize money every year and I think uh, Rick Crowley himself would be proud of of this competition and, and uh, seeing it here and this road, I think, is a, a great occasion as well. I suppose um, uh, one thing must be said uh, in relation to this road and uh, in relation to Kilbritton. Uh, I think anybody here today couldn't forget that uh, it was Jerry Desmond's fondest wish to have the Rick Crowley Cup played in his home place. And uh, he was very proud um, last year when uh, Michael Quinlan was doing well in the Novice Championship and when the club really got going here and took on the Red Crowley Cup. And it was ironic that the very Sunday before the first score was to be played, uh, Jerry was taken from us. And I think uh, it's a kind of a sad occasion in a sense. Um, 
it's a, it's a great honour and privilege for me to be here today, but I think uh, there is a great sense of sadness as well that uh, we should be doing it in the absence of Jerry Desmond, who I suppose this was, this was one of his great wishes and it just didn't come true for him. So I, I won't say any more. Uh, I'll ask uh, Finbar Crowley, uh, as I said, a nephew of the great Ray Crowley, to present the Ray Crowley Cup to John O'Driscoll as the 1996-97 champion. <coughs> This is, uh, there's also some Waterford Crystal here and a check to uh, for John as the winner. He's been here somewhere. So wisely. John, as you know, will be representing us in a couple of weeks' time in the Joe McVeigh Cup uh, at the Bullfather Festival in Cady. And uh, well, we wish him the best of luck and hope that he'll get an opportunity to. Uh, a Vinci's All Island defeat at the hands of Michael Toll. So, John, you've our very best wishes on that well, trip. Well, well, well. So, now I'd like to present the runners up uh, trophy <laughs> and uh, check Pat Butler, a man who's been on the winning side more often than most, but uh, on this occasion, it's like this. Okay, Pat, thanks. I'd like to thank the Crowley family for having me in it. I'd like to thank Bowen Command. And I'd also like to thank Pab Butler for a good sporting score. I think if you want to be Pab Butler, you'll have to do that for Bowen. Thanks very much. Come on round to Mikey's pub, round us some gallons to pour down the flow. Thousands come to Lord the form, just to kiss that blarney stone that can be viewed from the groves of Fair Hill. Now come on, buy them, spend the day, with her ball and club so gay. The love down the ball, it'll make your heart thrill. Oh, when you hear the ship, I say, Timmy the ladies won the day. Here's the boss, the boys of Fairhill. Now come on, boys, and spend the day with her honey or club so gay. The cry of the hounds, it'll make your heart thrill. Oh, when you hear old Quinlan say.